The iColor 250 inkjet label printer plus built-in cutter comes equipped with the powerful iColor custom cut software, which allows for printing and cutting custom labels and stickers to any desired size and shape and much more. This versatile application integrates everything you need to model and lay out your prints and cuts in just a breeze. This tutorial will walk you through the basic steps to print and cut a label or sticker using the Trace Image Contour Cut feature found in iColor Custom Cut. After you activate your software, you will be prompted to open or create a new project. Step 1. Choose New Project by clicking New Project to start a new blank project with default settings. Step 2. Set your page size by choosing Custom Size. Step 3. Now type the size in the W and H boxes or toggle the size up or down with the arrows and click OK. Step 4. iColor Custom Cut software allows you to import flat and vector files in the following image formats. AI, EPS, PDF, SVG, JPG, BMP, PNG, TIF, and GIF. Uninet recommends imported images to be at least 300 dpi, since the software has been optimized for this image resolution. Step 5. In this tutorial, we are importing our image as a PNG file. To import your image, go to the File menu and choose Import. Step 6. Browse to the file you would like to use and choose Open. The file will appear on your page layout. Step 7. You can manually move it on your page or increase the size. However, a better option is to use the position and size window and then set the artwork size to match the size of the page layout. Step 8. Center the image horizontally and vertically to the page. Now you are ready to trace the image and create a cut line. Tracing the images require a flat file such as BMP, GIF, JPG, or PNG. Step 9. Now click on the trace icon. There are many options available in the trace image window. However, the most important option is contrast. You should adjust the contrast to the left and right until the preview shows a single green highlighted image in the shape you would like to cut. Please be aware, if the contrast is too high, you will lose the shape detection and will end up with a rectangle cut. Step 10. Now, on Output, select Show Nodes. These nodes are the points on your image to which the knife will travel to cut the label or sticker. Step 11. Then, click Update Preview to show the cut lines and the number of points or nodes in your cut file. Click OK when you are happy with the shape of your cut line. The cut line will appear on top of your image as a red outline. You'll see a trace layer appear in the layer window. Step 12. Then, go to Path and select Offset Path. On the Path Offset window, check the Inset Offset box and adjust the amount of offset. Click OK to change the offset and the new cut line will appear. Now, select Preview and click on Show Cut Lines box. Click on Done. Now to print your label or sticker, click on File and choose Print from the menu bar. The print dialog will appear. Make sure to select print plus cut and click OK. 